Hey everyone, Todd from Sideshow Effects once again, and in this video I'm going to go over the installation of our Premiere Pro MIDI controller for Stream Deck Devices Pack. So one of the first things we're going to do, we have to hop onto the web and download a small piece of software that's going to help us align our ports. Now if you've installed one of our other packs in the MIDI controller series, you likely have already gone through the process of downloading Loop MIDI and assigning the ports. You can skip this part if you've already done it. They use the same ports. So opening up your browser of choice, you're going to navigate to this address and the link will be in the description below and it's also here on the screen for you. Make it easy for you to just hop over to it. And you're going to download this piece of software called Loop MIDI. So you just hit the uh, download Loop MIDI and then we're going to double click the Loop MIDI setup. And we want to make sure that the auto start loop MIDI when logging in is selected. Very important. You got to make sure that this uh, always will load up when you restart your computer. And that way you don't ever have to worry about aligning the ports every time. And then we'll agree to the license terms. We'll install. Once that's done, we're going to launch. So once we've launched, we get this dialog box here we're going to assign some new ports. So I'll click on the new port name. We're going to overwrite this. And the first one we're going to enter is Mackie to DAW. And it's case sensitive. So it's capital M and capital D. It's so Mackie to DAW. And then we hit the plus sign. We've added that port. Do the same thing again. DAW to Mackey. Hit the plus sign. Now we can just set this off to the side and we're going to go to Stream Deck and we need to install a plugin here. So we'll go to, we're in uh, Stream Deck version 5 so they have the new store here. We're going to click on plugins. In the search box here we're going to type MIDI and it'll be this plugin here that we want to install. MIDI by Trevor Ligus Bell. Say install. Just takes a second. And once that's installed, we can close out the store. Now the next step is to launch Premiere Pro. And once we're open, we got a project open, we're going to go over to Edit, Preferences, and we'll go down to Control Surface. So in the Control Surface section, we're going to click on Add. And the device class will be Mackie. And we'll click on Settings. And we're going to click Add. And the device type will be Mackie Control. Your input device will be Mackie to DAW. And your output device will be DAW to Mackie. Say OK. OK again. OK. And we have it set up here. OK. So we're set up on the Premiere side of things. Let's go back to the desktop. And in your Premiere Pro MIDI controller folder that you downloaded from Sideshow FX, there is a folder here called MIDI Graphics. Inside of this, there is a Mac and Windows folder. We're going to go to the Windows. And this folder here, Traveliga Spell, holds the graphics for the Stream Deck profile. And if you've already installed one of the other applications and you've gone through this process of copying the Trevliga Spell folder, you don't need to do it again. The folders are identical amongst all the applications. So if you've gone through this already, don't need to do it. But if this is your first time, you take this folder and you're going to place it in your Documents folder. So this PC Documents. You'll just click and drag and drag it into your Documents folder. Now the last step is we're going to import the Stream Deck profile itself. So go to Stream Deck, go to the gear icon, fly out menu at the bottom, import. We'll navigate to our Premiere Pro MIDI controller folder, Stream Deck profiles, Windows. You can see there's two profiles here. One is for the regular 15 key device and one is for the XL device. So whichever device you're working with, that's the profile you import. I'm on an XL device, so I've got the XL pack imported here. Now one more thing you may have noticed, I'll go back to our download folder. The Stream Deck Profiles 
folder had an extra folder here called to copy. And inside of this are two more profiles, one for the regular 15 key and one for the Excel device. Now what these are, it takes the entire profile, exact same profile we've got here, but packs it into one folder. And I'll show you what that looks like. And here it is here. If we double click this, we open up the exact same profile that we just had, but it's all contained into one folder. Now the reason for this is I can click on this, right click, say copy, and now I can paste this into any other profile and have it available to me in that profile. So let's say for example that we have our Premier Pro profile set, which I do here, and if I choose any one of these blank buttons, let's just go with this one here, right click and say paste, I now have our Premier MIDI controller pack inside of our Premier Pro profiles pack. So we don't need to switch profiles back and forth all the time. At the click of a button, I have my MIDI controller pack inside of this pack. And you can place this on, in any other profile that you choose. So that's the reason for the two copy version. So that's it, you're all up and running. I encourage you to go and take a look at the orientation video that we've put together that details all the features and functions and how you use them. The link will be in the description below. So as always, thanks so much for downloading the program. We really appreciate you guys joining us on this journey and hopefully they make a difference in your daily workflow and help you to be more creative and more productive. Until next time, we'll talk to you soon.